thank you first. I'm also very pleased to be here. I think this event has been fantastic and been a full powerhouse, especially at an opportune time, which is now, just before a very uh, important event of elections coming up. Uh, a lot has changed in the last decade. There have been a lot of reforms in the financial services. Uh, some of them, which are very big and noteworthy, would be the NCLT, the IBC, the 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 formation of different types of financial institutions within the ecosystem, uh, Sarfezi, which actually enabled lenders to to take over and to 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 take over collateral if the creditor would not pay on time. So these reforms has actually <clears throat> made the financial services balance sheets at the healthiest that has we have ever been. Today, if you see whether it's banks, whether it's NBFCs, uh, whether it's any other financial institutions, the balance sheets have not been healthier. They are the NPA at, at, are at the lowest. The capitalization is at maximum and ability to lever is there. So this all of these things have been created because of all the reforms that have come in by the government, by Reserve Bank of India and so on and so forth. So I think it's been fantastic and we are very well poised. We've, been, we've actually created a foundation uh, in the last decade and now we're very well poised to attract and to reach the GDP of 5 trillion and 7 trillion in which financial services itself will grow. Uh, there have also been reforms in terms of digital. There's a digital public infrastructure layer which has been created by the regulator which has got access to any financial services company which gives access to data and this data is actually helping us to do financial inclusion whether it's SME whether it's the aspiring Indian which was not possible earlier so today we can reach out to customers who did not have access to financial services uh, in, in short I would like to say uh, last decade the government the regulator has really built the infrastructure. Now, as private players, it's our responsibility to drive on it. So really to put cars on the infrastructure and drive to ensure we make a much more inclusive, financially inclusive India. Thank you.